Hey guys, I know it has been a hot minute since I have uploaded a YouTube video and I left you guys hanging. Um, I was filming peak week for my first NPC show, very exciting, and then nothing. I went silent on you. So I'm here to catch you up on the past two months and give you a recap of my first bikini competition season because it is now over and I want to fill you guys in on what happened and because there's a lot, a lot that has happened in the last, you know, however many weeks it's been, eight weeks, something crazy like that. But uh, essentially on a very high level, um, three major updates. I already gave you one that my competition season is officially over. So I am now in an improvement season. Uh, two, I am going to fill you in on all, all of the shows because I ended up doing um, five shows in six weeks, starting with that first NPC show. It was a whirlwind. I'm going to talk take you through the whole thing and let you guys know how all that went and why. And three, a uh, major last update, which I'll talk about as I go through, um, you know, this recap is I switched coaches. So let's start off. And I literally had to write this stuff down because literally so much happened and I want to make sure to, you know, tell you all, um, everything. So let's start off with where we left off. Uh, so going into the NPC Oklahoma Grand Prix, my first NPC show, because I had been doing, um, natural fit federation shows up until then I had done two, I had done my first show in August. And then you know, one of my pro card did my second show with NFF, which was my pro debut won that. And I think I shared this in my last video that I had written a note to myself where I basically said if I won my NFF pro debut, I would try my hand at an NPC show. And if that NPC show went well, as in I won the overall, I would try my hand at a an NPC national show. So to go back to NPC Oklahoma, I did actually start filming a show, a show day vlog and I'll put in like little clips here and there. I think I got like the athletes meeting and a couple of other things, but then I went, dropped off because that show started a crazy series of events. Basically the NPC national or NPC Oklahoma Grand Prix, I entered into the true novice category, which is somebody who has never competed in an NPC show before, as well as the open categories. So I did end up winning true novice, which was really cool. And then I won the overall with open mind blown. I was absolutely ecstatic over the moon. I couldn't believe it happened. And because it happened, like I said, I, I told myself that I would try a national show and that national show was actually the following week, the following Friday, mind you. So not even a full week. It was six days later in South Carolina. I'm in Texas. So basically, you know, <laughs> I had told my husband that was the deal. And it's so funny. He looked at me after the, after I, you know, won the Oklahoma Grand Prix. He's like, so are we going to South Carolina? And I was like, I, I guess we are. So we got home the next day on that Sunday. I registered for NPC Nationals and booked our tickets to South Carolina, booked hotels. It was crazy. It was just, everything happened so fast. And anyways, Fast forward, uh, we roll into another peak week um, and go to South Carolina. So in South Carolina, um, that was amazing. It was so cool to be surrounded by so many very talented amateurs within, in, within NPC. These girls were phenomenal to watch. Like I find bodybuilding to be just one of the coolest sports because it affects your life uh, day in, day out. It, you know, everything you do affects that show day um, for months beforehand, right? You can't just step on a stage, typically, unless you're like a genetic genetic freak or something, I don't know. But typically months and months of hard work goes into it. And that's all I saw across the board with these women. Um, just, I like you could see how hard they worked and how freaking talented they are. So. Anyways, um, I ended up getting second call outs out of 32 girls. So, um, yeah, I was really hoping for first call outs. Of course, like who, 
who goes into it, you know, not wanting first call outs and not wanting to win. But yeah, I really didn't have expectations. I just wanted to see where I stacked up against all these like amazing ladies. So if you guys aren't familiar with NPC or with a national show, it's basically you have to get a certain placing in a local show like Oklahoma in order to qualify to then go to nationals, which is where you can earn your pro status within the NPC, which is actually the, you know, a different league called the IFBB. So, um, again, I got second call outs was ecstatic, especially because this was the coolest feeling. Um, I, you know, based on my number was called out on the end and they almost immediately moved me from the end to the center, which is a very good thing. So you always want to be towards the center of an NPC stage because that means you're typically in one of the top spots. So I did get like, the middle spot within the second call out. So there were eight girls in first call outs. I'm not sure how many were in second call outs, but I ended up getting ninth place, which means that I, you know, did the best out of that second call out. So that like lit my fire because I love a challenge. Um, I don't enjoy just so I don't enjoy easy things um, because it's fun to challenge myself. I actually, I loved that I didn't get first call outs because I was like, I mean, it was the first show that I hadn't won, which is again, like a very cool thing because it made me that much more excited to get better. This national show lit my fire to the point where I was like, this is where I belong. I belong in this federation to compete with what who are, in my opinion, the best of the best. The NPC is the biggest federation within bodybuilding. And I I just loved it. I loved the level of competition. I loved how the show was run. It was big, but you know, they they had they were on their A game. Um, anyways, I left that show with kind of a yeah, of course, nothing but excitement. I was so proud of the package that Javier and I brought, but I don't know, I just had this sinking feeling that I needed, like, because this is where I belong, I needed something uh, and a team to cater to those specific goals. At the show, it, it was fun to just observe people, uh, meet some of the girls, and, you know, it, it was a great experience, but I was there, like, alone, right? Um, like, I, you know, Javier uh, was my coach at the time, Team Corpfort love nothing but love here um you know he did amazing checking in with me and such but he's he's not an npc coach he is a natural federation coach npc is not a natural federation um they're just an untested federation which means there's drug use throughout the federation um up to people's discretions of course um I'm a natural athlete will always be a natural athlete that's important to me but um yeah so that's just is not Javier's cup of tea. <laughs> so it's not like we had like a huge team corporate fort presence there. Um, it was just me. So, you know, it, it was like, it was nice to see that there were teams of girls there. And I was, you know, I just, I thought that, that would be nice to have that team experience at one of these bigger shows. So I, you know, just being a fan of the industry, the bodybuilding industry in general, I, I am aware of different teams, different coaches, and I was aware of who I would likely want to pick as a coach um, if I were to switch teams, switch coaches. So after nationals, I had already been planning to do my second pro NFF show with uh, my corporate court team. And so I basically like, I had this pin in my stomach, but I was like, okay, I'm just going to set that aside until after this NFF show um, and we'll figure out things from there. So, um, went into my third peak week in a row, three peak weeks in a row, crazy, um, for my second NFF pro show. And that went very well. Uh, I got to be there with all of my corporate four teammates and everybody just like absolutely killed it. And, you know, my teammate Marcy actually won the amateur open. So she ended up getting her pro card and, you know, Tammy got her pro card and she competed in fitness. I, it was just a really cool day. And I, I did end up getting the gold, which was super cool. Uh, and another really cool thing with the NFF Pro League is that you do have cash prizes. So got a little, you know, cha-ching, uh, which was good to help me pay those South Carolina bills. But 
yeah, so I had an absolutely amazing day and that competition was in Austin, which is where I'm from. So yeah, a big part of my family was able to go and cheer me on, support me, eat some yummy food with me afterwards. Um, but then that's where the real introspection began of, okay, um, you know, in conversations with Javier, um, you know, I had several conversations with him throughout the week prior and I just, I needed to feel good about where my path was going, which I knew I wanted to go with NPC in the future because again, that's just the level of competition that I thrive in. Um, but I felt a very deep misalignment with being on Team Corp for it because um, Javier's whole thing is uh, drug-free bodybuilding and physique, you know, power, power body, bodybuilding. Um, and although I will always remain a drug-free athlete, I know that competing in the NPC didn't serve him in the best way possible. Um, and I don't, you know, I was like, you know, I wanted to be there with a team potentially um, and have more really detailed attention when it comes to NPC specific requirements and trends and all that. And while I thought, you know, Javier can get me there, um, Javier can help me train up on and study up on what I need to do to be the best I can be in the NPC. Um, it just, it didn't feel right. Um, because I want, because Javier, first of all, is like a, a, a magician. He's fantastic. Uh, he definitely could have got me to where I want to go physique wise, but when it comes to posing and things like that, it just, I, I just felt like I could probably I needed somebody who focused solely on NPC um, and could really help me make those refinements that I wanted to make. So Javier and I ended up, you know, we were in total agreement about where I needed to go next and what would best serve me and him. Um, again, nothing but love there. He's amazing. If you want to, you know, take advantage of his magician abilities, go inquire with him. He's again, amazing. Just one of the most passionate people I've ever met when it comes to, um, the love of this sport. Anyways, um, I ended up inquiring with Jamie D. Bernard with Team Fit Body Fusion because I, I had a feeling that she and I would click, um, from what I could tell from her athletes, following several of her athletes and her, she seemed very, um, very plugged into the sport, seemed to stay on top of the latest trends, have a really good relationship with the head judges, um, and just really have detailed protocol when it comes to, you know, nutrition, posing, show day readiness, suit color, like just the whole nine yards. So her and I had a consult call and hit it off immediately. I, like I knew in my heart, she was the one for me. So I did end up signing up, signing on with her and her and I both agreed, um, you know, she looked at my pictures from nationals and was like, okay, here's what I think you need to work on. I think we need to bring in those glutes a little bit more. Um, you stand up a little straighter in your back pose. And we got to work immediately to go into a second national show called USA's, which ended up being in Arizona on December 13th. But um, at this time it was, you know, when we started together, we were rolling into Thanksgiving week. Um, so I started with her immediately after my last NFF show the week before Thanksgiving. Um, so the week of Thanksgiving I actually had one weekend off out of that six week period. Uh, this is my one freebie weekend. So I done three shows, started with Jamie, had a weekend off, um, because we're like, okay, let's prepare for USA's. And then she texted me a couple days later and she was like, hey, uh, let's try actually to go into Battle of Texas and Irving on, what was that? December 5th, December 5th. Um, so I was like, well, I've done three shows in a row. What's two more in a row, um, five and six weeks? Let's do it because she wanted to practice peaking me. So um, basically to appease the judges feedback or what we thought would be the feedback, um, we entered into a little cut. And mind you, I had been at maintenance basically for um, four weeks at that point because we didn't cut during the peak weeks. So I was in a really good spot eating plenty of food. So we 
and not doing any cardio. So she put me in a deficit and we went in with the intention of, you know, cutting down a little bit in order to try to bring out my uh, glute ham tie-in a little bit more. So, and she worked with me on posing. So I was standing up straighter and just looking overall better in my back pose um, because we actually ended up getting feedback from Sandy, one of the head judges from nationals that uh, she thought I needed more upper body, but it was really just a matter of posing for me actually. So I was bending so far forward. It didn't look like I had as thick of arm muscles as I do. So that's nice uh, we addressed that pretty quickly, but it's that glute hand tie-in that we tried to bring in better and tighter. So went into Battle of Texas um, the weekend, like a week after, a week and a few days after Thanksgiving, um, came in tighter. We were happy about that. Um, Tyler was the head judge for that show, if you're familiar with you know, NPC head judges. And I only entered into the open class and ended up getting second place out of, I think, 16 girls. Um, and actually the girl who got first in my class ended up going pro at USA's, which is very exciting for her. Um, so if I'm gonna go down to somebody, I'll go down to a pro, that's cool. Uh, but anyways, my feedback was pretty similar to, um, pretty similar to nationals. Tyler said that I needed to bring in fuller glutes, uh, especially in my upper glute. So. You know, we didn't do anything different for peak or for peaking strategies that time because we just wanted to roll into the show and not disturb my cutting phase for the following weekend at USA's. So we took that feedback, said, okay, cool. Oh, and for that show, Jamie's just like amazing. And she looked at my suit color. So she adjusted my suit color, um, told me that she thought it would be a good idea for me to wear bigger lashes. So to bring my eyes in more open and yeah, just those little things like that's exactly what I was looking for. Posing changes, presentation changes, check, check, check. Um, to go into USA's to bring my best package ever. And that we absolutely did. So I was so happy with my package at USA's. Um, and at USA's in Arizona, I ended up getting first call outs, which was so exciting. That was like uh, the most exciting feeling because I'm just going into every show trying to improve myself um, and come in with my personal best package because I can't control who else shows up. I can just control my actions. And I am thrilled with that placing. I ended up getting, there were seven girls in first class. I did end up getting seventh out of those girls. So, you know, that's cool. Basically, Sandy said after the show when we went to go talk to her um, that I need to work on those glutes. We knew this, but of course we wanted to exhaust all options about my current physique before, you know, going into an improvement season, which we are now in. But yeah, let's go back to um, USA's. I absolutely love the experience with Jamie. She was there and she will be there for all the national shows. Uh, I loved seeing her in person, getting to pose with her, uh, seeing and meeting all of my teammates and just feeling so connected with everybody. Um, it was just a great experience and I'm super happy with my decision to go with Fit Body Fusion. And yeah, that leads us to now, which is improvement season. Um, we are going to work on bringing in those glutes, building up that muscle. So I am reverse dieting, but I'm going to save the rest of my current state for another video. I just wanted to catch you guys up on well, what happened over the last two months. So yeah, I'm again, sorry for leaving you hanging, but there's my recap and yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one to maybe take you through a day in the life in my improvement season, talk about my current goals and my future goals for 2021 since 2020 is almost over. We've got a day and a half more since it's December 30th. It's exciting stuff. Well, I think we're all ready to leave 2020 in the past, but Honestly, it was a really good year for me. Um, you know, I think lemonade's out of lemons this year for sure. But anyways, uh, thank you so much for tuning in and be sure to like and subscribe. And I'm gonna try to be more consistent because I really do like YouTube. And if you watch this whole thing, bless you. It was long, I know. <laughs> All right, guys, catch you later.